Hi guys, it's Ben from Heirloom Pianos here, coming to you with two beautiful pianos. No, I'm not talking about this piano and this piano. I'm talking to you about this piano. Now, before anyone says that I'm having issues counting or I'm seeing double, well, maybe I am. We are here with this beautiful Victor Paling and Comp, or Paling and Company piano, um, circa 1900, something like that. Um, it's a unique instrument for a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is you don't need a piano stool for your music books when you have a foldable library at your disposal. That is a magnificent feature. Uh, also a beautiful case, so a lot of really ornate cabinet work, really beautiful condition. But wait, there is more. If you're thinking that that looks like too new a keyboard for a 110, 120 year old piano, you're probably right. So if we open this up, now I will just give you a uh, sneak preview of how you open this. That's right, it's spring loaded. As we have a look in here, you'll see, oh, wait a second, that's no old piano. That is a Beale Upright. So this is the completion of a um, project we've been working on for the last month or so. Uh, before I go any further, I just want to have a huge shout out to Joe Williams, my employee. He has done a spectacular job doing most of the hard work and all the uh, hard work and uh, disassembly, reassembly, carpentry, cabinet making. I'm just the one that takes all the credit. Uh, but you'll see here we have a 2002 um, Beale slash Pearl River UP108 and we have put the strung back action and the keyboard assembly into this 110, 120 year old piano. Now I'll show you quickly what it looks like from the back. So just moving past other projects you'll see that we have a kind of fake frame here and then subsequently we have the real frame just uh, the back here. I should mention this is a work in progress. This is something that's um, still to be complete. There's a couple of little things we need to finish off, but overall we're actually at a point where it's not only playing, but it's playing really well and actually sounding really interesting. So watch the rest of the video and we'll do a performance video at the end to show you what it sounds like. All right, so here is the Frankenstein beast in all of its magnificence. Um, so to give you a little bit of a backlog, and I'll hand us some pictures now, I was contacted recently by a customer who had a lovely looking Victor Paling piano. Um, the instrument was in a fairly poor state of affairs. So the cabinet was magnificent and it had this really unique action um, at the top with the library stack. However, someone at a previous point had used WD-40 to lubricate the action centers on the instruments. So, all of the hammers were completely stiff. They weren't moving. There was no um, capacity for the action to be repaired economically. Um, at the same time, I acquired a Beale or a Pearl River UP-108. Uh, this was a 2002 instrument that was in pretty good condition overall. However, um, the instrument had, uh, the case had a lot of damage to it and a few chips. So I've always been curious to try this repair. So we essentially um, combined the two instruments. So how did we do this? Um, we started off pulling the action mechanism and the keyboard of the old piano and basically um, throwing those away because unfortunately they were too far gone to do any repair work. Um, the back of the old piano, so the strung back, strings, soundboard and bridges were pulled off and again disposed of. And what we have here is a timber frame that basically supports and acts as the old uh, piano's, um, I guess the kind of the frame that holds the jigsaw together. Um, we then carved out these channels. So as you can see here, we've recessed a little um, channel into this side and that extends the full way down to the bottom of the piano and i'll show a picture here but we literally um, took that on both sides um, attached two hooks and basically craned this new strung back 
um, into the assembly going underneath and then basically attached some fasteners either side underneath underneath another one underneath here as well and that basically supports the action and keeps it or the strung back and keeps it um, at that height and then subsequently we've also added some brackets at the back i'm not sure if you can see those that's right they would have been gone through the other way but um, what we have then done is use the old uh, key bed so the old key bed um, the new key frame the new keys and the new action mechanism and the most important thing was just maintaining the strike point of or recording the strike point of the hammers especially at the absolute top there um, just to make sure that the alignment was good enough that we could basically put the frame in and then subsequently uh, install the um, action of course placement of the little bolts there um, the glide bolts was um, critical and as you can see we've yet to install that blow there but or that pedal i should say but we have the sustain working and within reason the alignment is needs a bit of work we haven't actually finished that completely yet but it's working to the extent that the hammers probably are pretty close to where they were this being a, a pearl river um, in terms of alignment and um, yeah, it's all come together surprisingly well initially we were going to keep the original strung back and then just put the piano on top but it turned out to be too complex and it was just easier to slide it in from underneath and i'm having a quick look down here you can see that there's a little bit of a gap but because we have those blocks that are secured and glued either side and also the one in the middle there that position should be fairly stable and um, the only other thing bear in mind this is damage from a previous person the only other thing we've had to do is cut off the little security posts that um basically keep the uh, uh the key frame position um parallel to the um cast iron plate just because uh, in any other case uh, that alignment or those dimensions didn't suit the old strung the new strung back and the old frame or the old key frame new pedals from the pearl river as well as the uh, new assembly pedal assembly from the pearl river and we just need to do a little bit of adjustment and tweaking with that um, the only thing we have done a bit of a boo-boo on is the positioning of the cheek blocks and the reason that we've done that is that initially we installed the key frame and the key bed or the, the keys first without thinking of the way that this would actually fit into the action mechanism so in future this is installed first this is then installed on top and then you match the keyframe to suit um, or the yeah, keyframe to suit from there so um, it's been a really interesting learning curve there's a few things we do differently but um, overall it's actually been a much more feasible thing to do in terms of time it's probably taken the better part of four or five days to actually put this into the well, to get it to where it is and um, a little bit of timber but nothing serious in the way of uh, upfront costs well, besides buying two pianos I guess um, the anyway let's have a listen to what it sounds like so I think we've had enough talking let's have a listen to this in all its magnificence and glory <laughs> 